Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Okay, there's two guys involved. The one guy, we don't know who he is. He's a Latin male. The second guy is this white male. We've already bought two and a half grams from him. If he's there, he's going to get arrested for that charge. More than likely, he will be there because they were together last night, right? Okay, so we all know where we're going. Everybody knows who the UC is. We're going to try to keep the CI out of it. We don't want the CI there, unless, it's abs unless they absolutely won't deal with us, unless the CI's there. But I don't think that's going to happen, considering the phone conversations that you've had with this guy. OK, it's seven ounces of cocaine. The UC has the money. He'll be in his vehicle. He's going to set up. The platform's going to set up on him. The verbal's going to be it's party time. The visual's going to be the hat out the window or the brake light, whatever's better, based on your visual position. Has everybody got that? We're going to be on TAC 3, which is channel 14. Yeah, go right there. That, that's good, right? If you want to stay there, that was good. Uh, come over one to your right. OK, we're inside the uh, uh, what we call the platform, which is a surveillance vehicle that we used for undercover operations. OK, here comes the, here comes the undercover truck. It's pulling up now. He also has on him an undercover video camera that will be able to record the transaction from inside the vehicle. Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear? All right. He'll be here in five minutes in a white Cherokee. That's the platform. He says the bad guy's about five minutes out in a white Cherokee. All right, everybody copy that? OK, we're waiting. Uh, the undercover agents called the, uh, the dealer. We're waiting on him to show up with the seven ounces of cocaine. Marco. Go ahead. He's in the uh, west end of the parking lot. The undercover agent just talked to the to the dealer, and he's supposedly on on his way here. He said he'd be here in five minutes, and he's driving a white uh, Jeep Cherokee. White Cherokee, right? There is, there's a Cherokee. We think he's got a white Cherokee, so this might be our guy. Okay, we're we're on. Everybody off the radio except for Deandra. That's him. That's him. We're in business. All right, here comes a white Jeep. He's on my row. Occupied two times. Okay, bad guy's getting in the car. Okay, bad guy just got in his truck. You are Brian. I'm Doug, man. It's cool. All right, what's up? What's up, man? Not too much. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to bring my boy. I'm just gonna hop on the interstate. And mm -hmm. I'm heading back home. Right. You wanna? We're gonna be straight. You got? You're taking forever. Everything, yeah. Oh, All right. I'm with me. I, uh, my my homeboy have has right now. All right. So you got the money? I got the money. All right. You got words of dope. Okay, another guy's approaching. Another white male's approaching. And he came from he came from foot, and he come to the other side. If I put this, the smell, you know, it's our neighbor. Oh yeah. Man, we're gonna be partying oh, tonight, man. definitely. Good, good, good. Definitely. Can I keep the bag? Yeah, keep it. 
Big time party time tonight, bro. Here's. All right. You want to count this? No one. Do you have a couple? Roger, thank you. Don't move, guys. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. You see your hands. Put your hands up. Put them on the back of your head now. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. It didn't come across our radio. Are they here behind your back? Are they here behind your back? Get up! What's that? This guy, this guy, just one guy. This is the driver right here. Yeah. Right. And I signed a car over there anyway. We didn't hear, hey, we didn't get the ghost signal over our radio, probably because we were crouched down. Does it look real? Yeah, see, those are nice, nice big chunks of cocaine. And when they're nice and compressed and then big chunks like that, usually they're coming right off a kilo. And what we'll do is we'll field test it and make sure it's real cocaine. Yeah, see how it turned nice and blue real fast like that? That means it's real coke. Or at least that's a positive indication for, the, for cocaine. No, take him to the bureau. Everything went fine except for our radio cut out <laughs> right as the deal went down. But everything went nice and smooth. Nobody got hurt. Nobody ran, which is nice. Didn't have to chase anybody. 911. Um, hi. I, I think I need an officer out here. I okay, what's wrong? Um, well, my, my kid just got taken away by HRS. Okay. And just placed into my mom's custody. Okay. It's, it's going to be a legal thing for a while, and I came home to tell my boyfriend, the baby's father, what happened. And right. he flipped out on me, and he picked up a big knife and came at me and my friend who okay. threatened to kill me last night, and he came at me with a knife tonight. So he snapped, literally. All right, you wait right there, ma'am, and we'll be right there. You just flag them down, okay? All right. All right. 423. I'm 10-4 here. We've just been dispatched to a domestic in progress where the male half is supposedly armed with a knife chasing the female around. She's safe right now. We're going to go get her side. Supposedly the male's back at the trailer with still with the knife, so we're going to go talk to them and see what's going on. It started in here just yelling, talk. well, we weren't even really yelling at this point. It was just a little bit of the raising of the voice. That was it. I come out here, sit down right here, like I always do, just to get away. He comes out at first, and then he goes back in, gets the knife, comes back out with the knife. He was about here, and I was about right here. He was, He's where? He was by the mailbox. I was about right here. By the right mailbox, here. and you're about right, right here? Yeah, but I, like right here. Right and then, here? Yeah, he comes, he comes at me. First, he How was talking this way. Knife? What's that? How's like this. Knife? Okay. First, he was talking that way to who I don't know, and I said, who are you talking to? And then he looked at me. I, he was delirious or something. I know he was pissed off. He didn't know what he was doing. He looked at me, and then he did it to me, said, you're not going to take my son. You already took my life, which meaning he makes I tried to pick up with him last night. This then was he, all because HRS took your child today? Yeah, this is what and happened And the child's today. both biologically yours and his? Yes. Okay. How tall is he? Six foot, yeah. six foot one? Yeah. How much you weigh? Yeah. 120. 120? We'll call hair and eyes. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Do you have any tattoos? One love on his chest. One love on his chest? He carved Lily in last night on his stomach. That counts. Oh, shaved He's head? Real, he looks like a crackhead, tell you the truth. Yeah, April's out with a suspect. I'm going to go back her up real quick. The other half of the domestic dispute's down here. But we're going to back up. An officer's out with him right now. So we're here now. Gotcha. Josh. 
Josh, can we talk to you for a second? Let me see your hands, bro. Go ahead and put your hands up. Let me see your hands. Let me see your sheriff's office get on the ground. Come on. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. He's got a knife in his lap. Knife in his lap. Don't touch that knife. Stand up. Turn around. Walk backwards. Backwards. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stop. Get on your knees. Crush all the way. Crush your feet. Six three, clear it. Let me ask you now, you got nothing else on you to know about. Because if I get stuck with someone. Cigarettes, no, that's cigarettes. Man. Cigarettes are normal. Okay, the 0 to 20, 0 1 second. The 0 6 8, 0 1 How do you get the back of this thing open? How'd you get over here? The cell phone, they don't open up. No, no you got a car that goes in the back. I walked over here. Because my girl was at the house, man, she was stressing on me. I told him taking my kids, so I said, no, I can't be your woman. Stand up. I didn't want no drama. Stay just like that for a minute. Come on. Who oh, lives here? Man. Randy and Cordelia. I'm supposed to move in with them because I'm trying to get away from her. She's crazy, man. Why is she crazy? I don't know. She's crazy. She's what do you mean she's crazy? She's trying to take my baby and everything from me. Why? Is it her baby? It's mine and her. Oh, so you have baby together then? Yeah, man. All right, well, you tell you what, until we figure out what's going on, just have a seat for now, all right? No right now, you're being detained for all, everything that she told us, okay? Uh, Straight? Yeah. All right. You mm -hmm. from here? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I, live, I, live, I was supposed to live You right from there. Florida? Me? No. Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. Ohio? Yeah. All right, bro, just hang out, all right? I, didn't ex I really didn't expect him to have that knife on him. No, I didn't either. Tell you what, bro, I'm going to leave this stuff on your lap, all right? I'm just trying to stay away from the drama, you know? I hear you. I don't want all this to come on me because I got papers and probation. I'm just You're on probation? Yeah, I'm on probation, and she started She's with me. So I was like, well, I'm What are you on probation for? Because I had a DUI and a domestic violence. Oh, and that's okay. why I'm trying to stay away from all the fighting. So I came over here and I said, I'm just going to sit here on these steps, man. Because I guess she wants to split and leave up north and take my kid from me and everything. I don't even want no problems with y'all. I just got out of jail. Okay. I'm on probation. I'm like, look, I don't even need any kids. Okay, we're going to go talk to her and figure it out, all right? We're going to go down and talk to her. So what do you want to happen? I just want, I just want them calmed down. That's all I want. I just don't want... I, I don't want drama. I don't want it. I mean, well, you got all the drama. I know. Now. I know this. I he said the same thing. You guys talk about drama. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. What do you guys say about the drama? It's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. How long you been together? Four years. You think this is a healthy relationship? Nope. Why are you in it? That's what I did last night. I tried to break up with him last night, told him to leave, and he wouldn't leave. He sat at my house with the knife underneath his his lap, and I, what Why am I going to do? Why did you call us do? last night? Because he didn't do anything last night to do it. Just because he was sitting there with the knife, is that, I didn't is know. Is that normal actions you expect out of somebody that you're dating? Out of him, yeah. Out of him, Do you lately, think you deserve he just, better than that? Yes, I do. I think he deserves the help or something. I don't know. Then, well, I can say probably at night he's probably going to end up going to jail. I don't want him to go to jail. I just, okay. I don't want that. Say, if my girlfriend pulled a knife on me, I'd be pretty upset I wanted her to go to jail, you know? We just got dispatched to a disturbance in progress where supposedly a subject hit another subject with a stick in the head. So we're going to go over here and see what the story is. back here that bite.
me. I just come down the road. Who called the police? I did. I Why'd you call? The I heard all the calls. Maybe because about 20 people jumped in my truck just to go after that I'll guy. Him. him? Hey, I got all yeah. the dogs locked up. Do me a walk in front of me. I know who it was. It was a buddy. A buddy who? He lives right down the street. I know who it was. What happened to you, man? You want me to tell you ten people me? Your truck. Yeah. What was he, he doing in the back of your truck? He, he jumped in the back of my truck when we was coming on the road, okay? While, while you were driving? Yes, sir. Tap forward. Just get an address down on Faith. We'll go down there. They went to his house. He wasn't home. He's possibly at his girlfriend's house. who lives right down the street from where we are. We're going to go down and make contact with him, find out what happened. All these streets run together down in here. Supposedly one of the deputies have checked out with the subject not far from where the scene was where it occurred. We'll find out what we have when we get there. <laughs> Buddy, right here. Okay. Who's in that car? There's my mom. That's your mom? Just go ahead and rest rest your butt against that car. Okay, just like that. That's your mom. She seemed like a nice lady, man. Yeah? Huh? I haven't asked him anything. What's going on? I was out in front of my house on the dirt road. He drove by in a, in a truck and he swerved and his wheel went by. And, and, and tried to hit us when we was all standing out at the end of the road with my friend's car and sitting out there. And I seen who it was, and I ran up to him, and I opened the door, and I said, where's my, you know, money? He 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 grabbed out, and he said, I ain't giving And he swung at me and hit me in my eye a little bit, just tipped it a little bit. And I swung, and I hit him back and hit him in the mouth. And he starts crying and stuff, and in the middle of the truck, another guy, Don, gets out of the truck and starts yelling and stuff. And then uh, they- This is where you're all still standing yeah, around? This way, they, yeah, this way we're standing right there. Okay. And they drove down the road real quick and they went to the woods and they came Who back. Who drove down the road? The, the guy that was driving the truck, he drove down the road real quick and they, and they came back. And that's when he, and he hit me in my eye a little bit and I hit him back. And he gets out, grabs a shovel, and he throws okay, the shovel, tries to hit me with the shovel. At this point, I'm gonna place you under What's that? You know what? They will call you when he's better when he's ready to be released. Oh, okay. Okay. Right now, he's under arrest for aggravated battery. Right. Okay. From what we got from the guy, he hit him and held the shovel. All right. And, and the guy has a. I'm talking. He's got a knot about that big above his eye. It's cut open. His arm's all messed up. I'm know. sorry I feel that way, but you know he beat the hell out of my son a couple months ago. Who yeah. did? And we didn't press. Toby. Office. Yeah, Toby did. Well, no, Toby got work tonight. Well, no, Toby got work good tonight. Okay, I understand that. I'm very sorry, but my son got work too. You can go up and look at the police report. The police report. You I believe you. Who came by my house and took the report? Listen, no, you there's three sides. I know. There's I know. Toby's I know. side. There's, there's always, Buddy's side. And then there's the truth of what really happened. Okay. And we, we're, our job is to find out what really happened. So we're, our job is to decipher the three stories to find out what really happened. Right. Based on what Toby said, and Toby's injuries, right. we got to do what we got to do. You know. One thirty-two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 